Hey guys, this is Miss Holland. Uh, this is our photosynthesis part two. All right, so photosynthesis part one, we talked a lot about light. Now let's actually talk about where that light's going to go. So one more time, we need to actually know our chloroplast like the back of our hand. So here he is. Remember, your single discs are known as your thylakoid. The empty spots are known as your stroma. And then, of course, your stacks of thylakoids over here on the side is known as your grana. Now, with photosynthesis, we actually have two parts that we're going to talk about, the light reaction and the dark reaction. So, thylakoids here are going to be attracting sunlight. So, hence, this is part of the light reaction. Also, thylakoids attract water. So, here's our H2O. So water and sunlight is part of the light reaction. They're going to pump out into the stroma area some ATP and then NADPH. Now, this in turn is now known as the dark reaction because we don't need sunlight anymore. What we're going to do in this case is that we're going to bring in some CO2 from the outside and we're going to go through a process that's known as the Calvin cycle. So, one more time. The light reaction literally includes sunlight and water. This will happen in our thylakoid, and we're going to pump out two forms of energy, ATP and NADPH. Our dark reaction is going to happen inside the stroma, and that's where we're going to take our CO2 and we're going to go through this little cycle that's known as the Calvin cycle. And this is where we're going to pump out our sugar, which is our glucose. Okay, so this is our final product here. Now the light reaction in turn also has a final product other than the energy. He also will be pumping out a form, a byproduct, which is known as oxygen. So if I were to split these two apart and give you a column here. Here it is. Light reactions, this are where we're going to be talking about these things called photosystems, take place inside the thylakoids. Our end result is going to be our ATP, NADPH, and actually a little bit of oxygen. Okay, we're going to use light and we're going to use water to actually get it started. Our dark reaction, on the other hand, is going to take place in the stroma. And this is actually part of the Calvin cycle. And our process is we're going to, our end result is going to be our sugar. But what we're going to need to actually um, take place is the ATP, NADPH, and CO2. So let's go ahead and get started here. Remember that your photosynthesis equation is six molecules of CO2 plus six molecules of water plus life. So this is what's going into all of us. And then we're going to get our six molecules of oxygen. Again, this is going to be from the light cycle. And then we're going to get one molecule of sugar from the dark cycle. So if you were to break this apart, this would be our light. And this would be the a product from our dark cycle. So let's talk about the light reaction first, since obviously you need sunlight in order to happen. So let's take the thylakoid here. Okay, we're actually going to look at the actual membrane. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out and see what he looks like. So inside our thylakoid, I know you guys are freaking out right now. Go ahead and stop this lecture and draw this out. Okay, because this is what you're going to need to know here. This is the inside and this is the outside. So this is your, um, your stroma. So this is the inside of our actual thylakoid here. So if we were to wrap this around, okay, and this is what's going to be pumped on the outside. Over here you have is your chlorophyll A and B are your pigments that are embedded in specific proteins. Now, this here is where we're actually headed. So to give you guys an idea of what this lecture is going to be all about, this is it. Okay, so we're going to break all of this apart into its specific fundamentals. So here we go. Alright guys, we're going to start with our light reaction first. Sorry about the blurriness. I'm not sure what's going on with my camera. 
but bear with me here. Okay, so here's our thylakoid. What we're dealing with here is inside the thylakoid membrane. This is what he actually looks like. So again, please pause this and draw this out. Now, light reaction. Obviously, we're going to be including lights. So go ahead and draw out your sun, which is going to be over here. We are going to stimulate these pigments, which remember is going to be our chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. So here's our A and our B. He is going to hit two different proteins along the thylakoid membrane. So the first one and then the last one. Also remember, photosynthesis requires water. So water is going to come inside the chloroplast through the thylakoid into the thylakoid membrane here and hook up to this first protein. This first protein is actually known as photosystem 2. Reason for that it was it was actually discovered second even though it's the first photosystem that takes place. Now long story short, short the sun which are known as photons, the sun's wavelengths, actually come onto the pigments here stimulate them and they do this kind of like ping pong reaction and literally will rip apart the water okay into electrons so we're going to rip apart that water into an electron we're going to pump into the inside of the thylakoid all of the hydrogen ions that we just ripped apart and then the stuff that we don't want is going to get pumped outside which is our oxygen so this is our oxygen that we don't actually want okay and again, this is good because that's the air that we breathe. Now, these electrons are going to take a little journey. They're going to go up and down and up and down. And just like sea turtles in Finding Nemo, it takes a long time to get to Australia, the A, the chlorophyll A. And so along the way, they need to get recharged. And so here, this is actually known as photosystem 2, or sorry, photosystem 1. And just like... In Finding Nemo, the turtles go on the EAC. This is actually known as the ETC. Not the East Australian current, but the um, electron transport chain. So here they are. Electrons got broken apart by the water. They get ripped apart, go on the ETC all the way to Australia, or chlorophyll A, where they're going to get pumped up again. So we're going to take these electrons and pump them up again before they can actually go on their journey. And of course... Once you actually get pumped up again, I'm able to create this molecule that's known as NADPH. Literally, NADPH is an electron carrier. So imagine this is just like this little basket that's holding all of our little sea turtles inside of it. That's my little sea turtle. Okay. Now, what's going to happen to these hydrogens? These hydrogens start to blow up because we need more and more water because you need to water your plants. That water keeps getting ripped apart into its hydrogen, keeps getting ripped apart into its oxygen over here. And eventually, these hydrogens start to blow up. And so this is diffusion. So from a high concentration to a low concentration over here, they're going to go out of this protein here that is known as an ATP synthase. Now, as you guys all remember, anything that ends in ASE is known as an enzyme. And so this enzyme, which is a type of protein, ships out the hydrogen ions. And on the outside here, lo and behold, is ADP and a phosphate hanging out. And so what happens is that when they get shipped out, it allows enough energy for that ADP to connect back together and form this molecule called ATP. Okay, so this is exactly what just happened. Our light reaction, which includes our little sun here, threw in some photons to photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Those photons generated enough energy to break the water apart into these little electrons which traveled along the ETC and then got pumped out into what's known as an electron carrier. While the water got broken apart, oxygen became a byproduct that is again good for us. The hydrogens got pumped in and they were forming what's known as ATP. Now here on the outside as well you get your CO2 and this is part of your dark reaction. The dark reaction 
is going to take the CO2 with our ATP. We're going to go through this process that's known as the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle, in turn, is going to pump out of 